Okay, guys, so let's learn up how to call a contact form up on a standard CMS Magento page. So I go to the client's Magento website here, and in the top menu, I see Contact Us. Now, just to digress for one moment, this Contact Us link is a category. I created a category called Contact Us, and then I created a custom URL rewrite, which will redirect this category to a standard Magento CMS page. So when I click on this category, it's going to redirect us to a standard Magento CMS page. Now this standard Magento CMS page that you see here has also got the contact us form called up on it and that's what we're going to learn how to do. Now in order to call up a contact form on a standard page such as this one we just need to insert this piece of code anywhere on the anywhere in the page editor itself in the Magento via the Magento admin. So let's have a look how to do that. So we've got our contact form here. If I go into the Magento admin, the page looks exactly like this. Now the graphic looks a little different because it's a PNG image and only JPEG images look the same, not PNG. And here's this piece of code here that we're talking about. I've just pasted that into the visual editor here and that's caused the contact form to be called up whenever the page is called up via the browser. So we can paste this code anywhere. We can have it before the image, under another image, between images, wherever you put it, that's where the contact form is going to be called up. If we just have a look at, it, at the HTML editor, we can see the piece of snippet here, and Magento has automatically placed p tags around it when we saved it, so that's not nothing to be concerned about. So this top piece of code here is just the image being called up, of course. So we go back to our editor, visual editor, and we can see we all we have to do is paste this piece of code into the visual editor right here, and that's that'll be the result. You'll have a contact form on your page. Now a couple of more things to get this form working properly. This URL key here can be called whatever you want. I've heard in some tutorials to call this URL key contacts, but I've found when you do call it contacts, what it does is after you send the form it redirects back to the original Magento contact us page and it doesn't function properly and on top of that you're not going to be able to say thank you, your inquiry has been sent to the client or you're not going to be able to display any additional information after they've sent the form without doing some extensive editing on the form XML page. So this is a quick quick way for most people to have a custom thank you page. So you call the contact us page whatever you want and call the URL key whatever you want but don't call it contacts. So when we go back, let's see how the form works now. So we'll go back to our standard CMS page. We'll type in a name and email and just to show you the functionality of the form, I won't put a comment in and you'll see the form's functioning fine because it's a required field. So all the default functions of the form are working fine and when I put test in the comment, it's going to be fine. So when I send this form now, due to the piece of script that I'm going to show you how to edit in the PHTML file, form file, when I send this form, it's going to redirect to another CMS page that I've created called my thank you page just a standard CMS page and you can have whatever you want on it and now I'll give you a demonstration of that so I just press submit and it's now redirecting to my custom CMS page now I just say thank you thanks for the email we'll get back to you shortly now all you need to do is go and create another Magento page CMS page called thank you have whatever content you want on it and whenever you're happy with it just save it and you will have your custom thank you page as well then you come up to the URL bar here control copy and that's all you need create the thank you page first because this is going to give you this URL now we want to go back and we need to edit the script in the form PHTML file for in order to cause it to redirect in the fashion that I just demonstrated it in so this is the piece of this is a snippet of script that we need to edit that needs to go into the form form HTML file so what I did was I just copied that URL. You need to replace this URL here with your URL. So just be aware not to erase this quotation mark on the end. It's a single quotation mark and it's at the start of location as well. You don't want to erase that. Keep that there. Just simply swap out this URL right here with your URL. Pretty simple. So once you've done that, I'll show you how to edit that now in the form PHTML file. So we come back to our, I'll show you, you can do this via FTP or control panel, I'll show you via control panel as it's much easier in my opinion. So we go back to our home page, of course we just type control panel on the end of the domain and it takes us to the control panel. Once we log into the control panel, we get our control panel interface here of course. We come down to file manager, 
Open File Manager, we select the domain that we want, of course. It doesn't matter which one of these checkboxes are ticked, it's going to do the same thing anyway. And we press Go. Once we press Go, we end up in our File Manager here. So I'll just double check where, where are the home. So we want to go into the public HTML folder. And the, for, the actual file we want to edit is the form PHTML file. So a quick and easy way to do this, not all control panels have search functions, but if they do, it's easy to utilize this. So a quick and easy way to do, directly navigate to the file that we want to edit is just to type in form PHTML up here and press go. Now the form is caught up on a lot of different pages, the checkout page, the guest form, the review form etc but what we want is the contact forward slash form so it's just a matter of navigating through here until we find it right here the contact forward slash form dot html and you can see here the complete file string now we're already in public html we need to go into app then we need to go into design then front end then base then default template contacts form dot html so i'll show you how to do this manually in case you're the control panel doesn't have the search functions which some don't so we're in public html now we go into our app folder double click we go into design we go into front end uh, base default template and contacts and there's our form.phtml file now it doesn't matter if you're running a theme on your magento site it's irrelevant it's the same file tree you don't have to navigate to your theme files or anything like that it's the exact same file route that we just went through now let's edit this form phtml and insert the script that we need to cause the contact form on our standard cms page to redirect to the custom thank you page that we want it to redirect to after a user has sent a contact form so we'll click on this and we'll press edit. We'll just edit in the standard settings here, don't change nothing here, just press edit. Now let's get this workflow safe and secure. So there's our there's our contact form PHTML. Now let's right click in here, select all and copy. Now let's go to Notepad++, create a new file or Notepad, just don't do it in Word and copy and paste so now we've got that file there backed up nice and safe and secure so we don't want to change this just in case something goes wrong so let's create a new file again and copy and paste it again so now we've got two copies of it now we can edit this copy at will what we're going to do is we're just going to come down right to the bottom here and here you can see i've put in this piece of custom script that should be below the video or on my site so I'll just delete that custom script for a demonstration version here and now what we have left in this file is the exact standard magento form.phtml file so this is the standard file that we've just pulled out of the control panel now all we need to do is come right down to the bottom of this file script press enter once for a new line we need to go back to this snippet of script that I've given you here we need to copy and paste this copy just be aware that this URL, remember, is your thank you page, not my thank you page. And then we come back to this script again. We go right down the bottom and we just press copy and paste. Now all we've done to this ph.phtml file is added those five, six lines of code right there. And that's basically just telling the form after it's been submitted, redirect to this custom thank you page that I specify. So all we do then is we right click in here, we select all. Control C, Control Copy. We come back and we're in the file manager again. We were in the file manager. We selected to edit the form. We're over here. We do exactly the same thing. We select all and we press Control V, Copy Paste. I'm not going to do it for the video, but that's what you do. And then you press Save. And then we have a standard contact form that when you fill out the contact form, it redirects the contact for, to the thank you page that you specified in that piece of script and that's all you have to do okay thanks for watching good luck guys and if you want more information don't forget to visit websciencecomau thanks guys bye